I wonder if anyone's drawn the timeline of destiny yet. Hey guys, welcome to a new segment that I call a mega project segment where I take a franchise and I make a big picture. I'm going to be basically doing a video diary of how a big project such as this is going to happen over the course of multiple videos. And I'm going to start with the timeline for Destiny. I'm going to be able to take go from Destiny 1 through Destiny 2 and eventually into Destiny 3. And I'm going to be putting everything that really I felt like was a main event for the main character, which is you, the player, uh, over the course of those games. And it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you the beginning of the Destiny timeline. So I've wanted to do a Destiny drawing for a while now. I have done a few before, but I knew I wanted to do one featuring all of the characters and events that felt important to the story. So the first thing we saw in Destiny 1 was our ghost reviving us in the Cosmodrome. Then the tower, and then the vanguard were introduced to us, so I knew that was the direction that I needed to start this project with. An important detail you will not find in this project is the player guardian. Since there are so many possible different variations of classes, subclasses, races, and gender that no one will have the connection to how I would draw the character. And most of the game is from first person anyways, so the drawing is like from the eyes of the Guardian. Now because this is just the key events of the story and key characters, I might be pulling um, some of the strikes out from the drawing. I will be including the raids, however, if there's nothing si extremely significant to the story, it probably won't make it into the drawing. I will, however, consider doing the loot cave. That was a big thing for the community in the first game, and it would be kind of a fun little easter egg to put in there. Each segment of this drawing is going to be broken down into segments similar to how the game has been broken down. Right now I'm working on Destiny 1's vanilla campaign, then I will be doing the downloadable contents, The Dark Below, House of Wolves, Taken King, and Rise of Iron, and each segment I have something that I am looking forward to drawing, and in this I was looking forward to drawing Cade 6 the most, and I think I, the part that I liked the most out of this drawing so far has actually been the Vandal at the front of the picture and the Arcadian cla uh, class jumps ship. Although I would like to say that I have enjoyed drawing all of these characters so far. They all have their own personalities in their depictions and it was fun trying to accurately portray them. As of right now in the Destiny game, the season of the Drifter has been going on, Joker's Wild I think it's called and it's currently March 2019, so starting a Destiny 1 drawing this late uh, gives me the chance to portray certain characters who have become a little bit more important over time, and it is allowing me to explore creative aesthetics that I wouldn't have probably done if I started back then. I probably would not have put Cade where he is and Zavala would not be a, where he is, and um, just seeing how the the speaker's role kind of diminished over the course of the games. I know he was a key figure to the story in Destiny 1, but because I feel like he didn't have as much of an impact prior to Destiny 2, I kind of gave him a smaller spot in the picture, because he will be popping up later on. When Destiny 2 rolls around, I'll give him a little bit more of an emphasized role. And I am going to be coloring this as I go along as well. The next video should have a few of the characters, at least on the left hand side of the drawing, colored, as well as more ink work being done. I'm planning on dry, drawing the hive and introducing the vex and uh, getting to the actual stranger. Most of the things that I'm doing when it comes to this drawing is keeping in mind the key things that stuck with me as a player. So if there's anything that you would think that I'm not portraying, feel free to put it in the comments. That way I can try to see where I can fit it in because 
uh, this is a part of a community. I would really like to be able to get more and more people to see this as I go along because not not just for viewership, but just to kind of get some feedback on how this is going. It's a project that I, it's a, very much a passion project for me. And I'm looking forward to look, seeing how it looks when it's all said and done in the future. Also, if you're playing the game, tell me what, uh, how you play. I'm personally main as a warlock with using arc. I know that uh, it's not everyone's favorite. Uh, <laughs> if you play as something else, I would really be happy to see where the community stands in the comments. And if you're an artist just here to see the art, welcome. Tell me what you think of it so far, and uh, any critiques are greatly appreciated. And uh, I hope that you like it. <laughs> This has been Daniel Jeffries. If you like video game or movie based fan art, and uh, also I do creative characters where I take uh, you know suggested words and I create a character based off of that. Uh, if you even like my artwork, check out my channel and uh, I will see you guys in the next part of this drawing.